The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. A crazy story that happened to me in Eretz Yisrael. Tomorrow. A week, a week ago tomorrow. It was an amazing trip. Went to, I went to Amuka. I went to places I never went. The Rambam, the Ramban, the Rav Yechen and Koen Gadol, his Talmidim, the Ariyah Kadosh. I mean, everywhere. Rav Shimon Ba'echoi, Kev Arocho, Moros HaMachpelo, Rav Chaim, Rav Steinman, Gedolim, Tzadikim. I was on the high of all high. Every day was seeking. Forget, what, what more can you get in life? You can't get more. Comes Thursday. It's around 1 o'clock. And I was, I was somewhere, and I went to pick up something that was very valuable. And I had to go down Mincha, because I was flying Thursday night, I was flying home. So I had to go down Mincha. So my friend who was with me said, let's call a taxi. You know, let's call one of the taxis. I said, what do you call a taxi for? On the street where I was, it's the main street, there's 100,000 taxis. Let's just wave a taxi. Okay. Hashem runs the world, we wave a taxi. Taxi pulls up get into the taxi. I'm looking to see Romema, some kind of name on the taxi, nothing. I'm looking to see the name of the driver, it's usually on the side, nothing. This guy's an Arab. Not only is he an Arab, but when we said, we want to go Davin and Shul, right? So I said where I want to go, he had no idea where it was. So we said, put it in my ways. So I don't know how to use ways, because I don't have, I don't have ways. So, so he gives it to my friend. And everything on the on his iPhone is Arabic. I'm like, uh oh. But he looks like a very an older man, like a nice guy. Okay, so we go to Zichra Moshe. Zichra Moshe is a minion factory in the middle of Geula. That's where we're going to go to Dab Mincha. Fine, we go to the Dab Mincha. I get out of the car. I walk into Zichra Moshe. There's a man standing there with a safer. He said, "I just wrote this twenty shkalim, twenty shkalim." I'm like, okay, let me see. I take the, take the safer. I start looking at it a little bit. I'm like, oh my goodness. I left the bag in the front seat. I'm talking a lot of money. It's not money, but it's, it's items that are worth a lot of money. I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't even think for a second because I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead if I lost this. I, start, I run out of shul. I, didn't, I forgot to give him back the book. So <laughs> I, I'm running with his book. He thinks this guy's a ganif, right? And I start running. So as if Ramosha goes to the main street, I start running. It's 100 degrees. Last week, was 100 degrees every day. Yushalayim was 96 degrees. Humid. I'm running. I'm not so much in shape. Like a wild man. I'm, and every, as I'm running, I'm looking at every taxi. i got to find the taxi. I run all the way up to Kikar Shabbat. I run back through Gula. Gone. I'm sweating. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I can't go home. I can't go home without this. I can't go home. I'm, I'm flipping out. I didn't dive in Mincha, and I realized I have this guy safer. So I go back to Zichra Moshe. I don't know what I'm going to do. How am I ever going to find it? He didn't have a name of a company. He didn't have his name. I don't even... Who do I call? I have no... I, don't, I walk in. And you can imagine. I'm washing my hands for the You can imagine. My head is... I'm gone. Right? And this guy comes up to me. Wallerstein! I'm like, not now. I say, Wallerstein! Tzedakah! Don't you remember me from America? I'm like, listen to me. Not now. Not now. I, I can't talk to you right now. You have to give me, you have to give me, you have to give me. I'm like, no, I don't have to give you anything. I have to go dive it and I have to go find this thing that I lost. No, no, you have to give me, you have to give me, you have to give me. I want to punch him in the head. I really did. I said, you know what? You know, uh, uh, you know what? Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you. I take out of my wallet 20 bucks. Not one buck, not five, 20 bucks. I'm like, okay. You're right. Oh, no. I want $100. This is nothing. Excuse me? This is nothing. I want more. You have to give me more. You always give me more. I'm like, take it and enjoy it or give it back. I just wasn't in the mood. He says, I see you running all over. You know what happens when you lose something? So I'm thinking to myself, one second. It's not in the car. When I came to, when he gave me the safer, I put it down. It's probably in Zichra Moshe. So when I came back, I'm looking through all the tables, whatever's hanging, everywhere that it, maybe I left it there and someone found it and they put it somewhere else. So he saw this poor person, saw me running, searching, searching. He says, 
did you lose something? I said, yes, I lost something, and it's very valuable, and I don't know what to do, and I'm very messed up right now, and I really don't want to talk to you. I really don't want to talk to you. So I went to Dan Mencha. And I Dan Mencha. I, I went to Dan Mencha. I went to Dan Mencha. That, that's where my head was. Okay. I go to Dan Mencha. I'm like, at the end of Mencha, I'm like, okay, Ramea Balanes. Ramea Balanes, I need your help. I was by you yesterday. I went to Ramea Balanes. I was by you yesterday. I lost a few things in my life. I gave you a lot of money. I'm like, $500? If I, not if. Five hundred dollars. You're not supposed to say if I find it. Whether I find it or not, five hundred dollars. Elikai de Meranena, Elikai de Meranena, Elikai de Meranena. Five hundred dollars. When I get back, I'm writing a check. Help me, help me find this. Anyway, I leave Mincha. I don't know what to do. You know what? The the place I left with the bag to get into the car. Maybe they have a camera. So I call up the place, and they have a camera. And they're like, which side of the street? I said, which side of the street? Okay, give us an hour. They get the tape. They get everything. They have the license plate of the cab. I got the license plate. Mishtara. We went to the Mishtara, lost and found. I go to the Russian camp. Out. My, my day's gone. All my plans are gone. Everything is gone. I had the perfect trip. Everything's smashed now because my whole day is gone. I'm in the Mishtara. I'm waiting online for this and that and the other Finally, I get into the guy. I had my police badges on me to show him that I have badges to show him that I'm in, Mich- I'm in Michigan in America. I'm in Michigan in America. You better help me out, right? So I sit down. I'm trying everything. I sit down in front of him. Your name, your passport. They're so slow. A lot of time. I take out my badges. I'm like, I need Michigan in America. Ooh, Mashu. I told him Michigan. Ah, Malto said we're talking. I'm like, okay, now. Cop, cop, like, you know. He says, I said, okay, I, ha- I, have, the, 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 I have the license plate. Could you call? You, it's a Mishra, you punch it in. Believe me, especially in Israel, because of the Arab, of, of the stuff. Just punch in the license plate. They know exactly who he is. So could you punch in the license plate, and we'll call him up, and I'll get back my bag. He goes, no. There's a new rule in Israel. You can't do that. The police are not allowed to do that anymore. We have to do chakira, bidika, chakira. Within maybe a week, we'll get back to you. But I said, I'm in America. And we'll get back to you. By the way, you go back to the shul where he dropped you off. See if they have a camera. Because if, it's very interesting, interesting. If they have a camera of you getting out of the car. Because the camera showed I got into the car with the bag, with the green bag. And if they have a camera that you got out of the car and you don't have the green bag, then they can tell the Arab, we know he left the bag in your car. He came in with one. He didn't get out with one. So go back. Extremely valuable. No. Not only that, he will throw it in the garbage the minute he sees it. And he's an Arab. Okay? So I run back to the shul. I'm like, you have cameras? you have any cameras anywhere? We don't believe in cameras. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Shmira of the shul, the Kedusha of the shul, they don't. They have no cameras. They don't need it. There's no cameras. I'm like, he says, No. It's a Misora. We are, our shul doesn't need camp. We are protected. No, really, it's a very Kaddishtik shul. Okay, so I'm, I'm messed up over here. I'm totally messed up. You have to hear this story. This is the most amazing story. So that's it. I, I don't know what to do. I go home. I, I, go, I, go, I go home. I'm packing for the plane. And the bell rings. We're four guys on this trip. The bell rings. I'm like, I am beyond myself. I'm coming out of the shower. I'm packing. I'm like, tell my friend, you go find out who it is. Who could it be? Nobody knows I'm here, whatever it is. Chaya! I'm like, what's up? What's going on? There's a tzedakah man up here collecting tzedakah. I'm like, how would someone know that I'm even in the, the apartment, right? I'm not, it's not one of my regular times. I'm like, tell him to come back, Yom Kippur. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going upstairs to tzedakah, whatever it is. I'm thinking to myself, you know what? Why should, you know, just go. He rang the bell. It's Barshet. Go, 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 go see what, go. Okay, I said, okay, I'm going to come up. I'm going to see who it is. Maybe it's one of my old guys that come to me. Always. I took my wallet with me. I come upstairs. We have to listen to this. I open the door. It's the guy from Shul. The one I gave the $20 to. I'm like, don't even ask me for another penny. I'm not giving you another penny. 
I was so angry. I gave him 20. What are you doing? Stop following me. He says, I'm not here for money. He says, there's, there's two, you lost something, right? In the, in, in the taxi, you told me today by Mincha. I said, yes. He said, there's two numbers on this paper. They are Datim, they're, they're religious Jews who are very high in the police department. They'll track the license plate. I'm like, really? <laughs> Call them up. In 20 minutes, they found the Arab where he was, who he is, the number. They called him. He said, you better, we know who you are. We know where you live. We know, they did. We know everything. You better get us back that bag. Someone left a bag in your car. He said, yes. I didn't know what to do with it. He said, you better get the bag. And to make a long story short, I, my plane was leaving at 11. Um, he, he said, I'll have the bag back at the house that I took it from at 11 o'clock. I was already on the plane. But my friend who was delayed to the next day, he was there. The bag's in my house. Why am I telling you this story? I was sure that the Tzedakah guy was there for money. I was chayshik with Sherem totally. When this guy spent the whole day finding these two guys that would be able to help me, he came upstairs. Of course, I gave him $100 after that, but he didn't ask me for it. <laughs> I, I would have given, given him... It was worth over $10,000 what I lost. I would have given him much more than $100. And when someone puts his hands out, in your worst moment, it's for your good. It was in his sign. It was a test. You lost it. You're going to give him money. You gave him $20. He's going to ask you for more. You're going to lose it. What are you going to do? And in the end, you, you, first of all, I have to tell you one other point that I didn't tell you. By my riv, before this whole thing went down with the paper and everything, I said, I guess $500, Ramea Balanes, is just not cutting it today. <laughs> so I'll up it to 1000 And kachaya. I got it back, and if someone puts his hand out to you, no matter what mood you're in, no matter how bad you're doing, give him tzedakah. I have no question that was the key. That was the test. We're going to make you so crazy, Wallenstein, and then when someone's going to put his hand out, we're going to see what you're going to do. You're going to lose it? You're going to bark? What are you going to do? In the end, this guy saved me money, tsaris, and a lot of other things. Amazing. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. And that these two guys did, they're tzaddikim. Because I don't know if they can lose their job. I don't know what could happen to them. But they did. They went into the information, you know, into the computers where you can get that information. And they, they got the guy. And, and I'll tell you something very fascinating. I was told to give the Arab driver $100 as a tip that he didn't throw it out. He could have thrown it out. So I asked the person who gave me that Aitza, why do I have to give him $100? Like, it's his job as a taxi driver to turn it in. And he said, you don't want to owe him anything in this world. You gave $100, you did a pidyon hanefesh. You don't owe him anything. You don't want to owe a guy like that anything in this world. If you owe him, you're going to have to pay back in some way. You paid for it. Bill him, paid for it. That's it, finish. His name's not in the Torah. His name, nothing's named after him. Just pay the money and have a good day. So no matter where you are and how you are and what you're thinking and what you're doing, someone puts his hand out, it's a test. That at that moment they put the hand out, like, oh, I'm not home, I can't, I know my back hurts, I have a headache, I'm not in the mood. No. Go and give him the money. Give him the tzedakah. Because tzedakah opens up all the gates. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.